Hi everybody, welcome back to SarishaNider.com. Um, thank you to everybody who has given us such great and positive feedback with the first video and congratulations to all the winners who won a box of white tea and I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you get great results. Thank you for sending me pictures when you did receive your white tea. I so appreciate it. Today I'm chatting about Autobiography of a Yogi. Um, it's one of the books I've read last year sometime. It was gifted to me. Um, on my birthday and it was a great read. Now I love to read and I can finish a good Grisham book within two to three days but this specific book, this baby, took me a long time to read because you have to not read with just your mind but you've got to read with your heart too so that was quite difficult. A lot of soul searching going on there um, but the good news is for people who don't like to read and you're very busy is, uh, is the movie. Um, the movie which is coming out, which is called Awake, and um, the Bhakti Marga Society of South Africa have been given the rights to air it in KZN, so yay. Um, and another great bonus is that Sabaya Casino has um, decided to host this uh, movie for the society for free. So thank you, Sabaya Casino, uh, for doing that. But we can also, we've decided, SirishaNaido.com have decided that we're also going to give away six tickets, yes, to three couples who'd like to go to the movie, which is happening on the 2nd and 3rd of September. So please catch it um, if you can. I think the tickets are 150 rand. All proceeds going to a very good cause. We're going to build an ashram with the monies, um, you know, made from the evening. So please support it. It's really worth it. Okay, why should you go watch this movie? Um, number one, we're all on this journey or this quest, you know, to move away from the materialistic and awaken the yearning of the soul. Um, something that keeps reminding us that there's a bigger reason we're here on earth and it's not just to fill our tummies and spend time in big brand stores. Yes, there's more to that. So please, I implore you watch the movie um, for your own soul, for our souls, for the for the all um, good off the earth itself. Um, I hope to catch you there and uh, what else? I was supposed to tell you something else and I've completely forgotten. Yes, I did get um, some feedback with regards to um, um, two or three people asking about, you know, uh, little nifty ways to get rid of um, sunburn or take care of your skin. Um, one of the secret tricks um, that I use is that when my skin's having one of those lifeless days, I go back to the age-old remedies. <gasps> Someone's going to shoot me now, but shoot me if you have to. Yes, it's called turmeric and gram flour, okay? So please don't discount things that, you know, our mothers have um, told us about, that their great, great ancestors have told them about. So just a teaspoon of turmeric and two teaspoons of gram flour, make it into a nice thick paste. Put it on your face on a Saturday morning when you, ha when you have nowhere to go and let it literally harden on your face. And it must harden so that you can barely move your face. Yes, it's, you know, it should crease up. You should look like an 80-year-old woman with tons and tons of creases. Then you know the mask is ready. Wash it off with some lukewarm water and you're going to have glowing, glowing skin. Um, the reason we, you know, as much as ground flour is very calming to your skin, we put it in there so you're not looking like... Um, a yellow sunflower for the entire weekend because turmeric can be quite staining to the skin so the ground flower also assists in that way so guys have a, a great rest of the week and i'll catch you again next week take care stay blessed